So welcome to this week's Bite Size PD. The topic is syllabi literacy. And Michelle, will you move on to the next slide? Yes, I am. And just a reminder for those attending live, we do record this session and we will be posting it on Canyon's U um, soon for those to watch it after. And then just a reminder about our professional development norms, be committed, responsible, respectful, and safe. Um, the next slide is just with, because we're virtual, we just recommend that you mute your microphone and turn your camera on if you're comfortable, it's not a requirement. And if you have any questions, um, feel free to use the comment box. I'll be watching it for Michelle as she's presenting and can let her know any questions that come through. And then just like everything we do here in Canyons, everything is tied back to the multi-tiered system of support. Um, I know syllabi literacy is one that definitely supports student um, learning and being able to show what they know specifically about world languages. Um, Michelle, next slide. And I'm going to turn and, it over to you. And welcome to the Seal of Valley Tracy. So um, my name is Michelle Howard, and I work in ISD as a world language and um, immersion specialist for the high schools. And so let's go ahead and start by the Seal of Valley Tracy. So for today, the learning intention is I am learning about the Seal of Valley Tracy and the requirements for students to receive the Seal of Valley Tracy. Our success criteria will be, I'll know I've learned it when I can support students during the application process and I can access the Seal of Valley Tracy website to check the status of the students in my school. So for today, the agenda will cover what is the Seal of Valley Tracy, who can apply for the Seal, how do students apply, how do to demonstrate their requirements, when will the seal of Bali Tracy test be administered? Who takes which test? When will the scores be reported? And where do I find more info information about the seal? So the seal of Bali Tracy is available for students who are proficient in English and in one or more world language. Um, and it is very, very frequent that we have students who apply for two seal of Bali Tracy. So, this is totally um, fine. Students must demonstrate their proficiency in both English, and they can use their ACT English, and the world language proficiency also. And for the world language proficiency, they need to reach an intermediate mid on the APPLE measure, which is an I2. And when they test with APPLE, students need to test in all the four domains of speaking, listening, reading, and writing but we will take three of the four in order to qualify for the score. So once the students have met the requirement for both English and the world language, then an, an electronic seal of literacy is placed on the student's transcript. Students will receive a seal of literacy certificate also at graduation. So the seal of literacy it's a celebration of bilingualism and biliteracy. It is an honor for the skills um, our students have attained. It shows the evidence of skills for future employers and uh, college admission offices. Students may have the seal of um, biliteracy information included in their transcript, as well as their resume. Um, once the test results are in, all the application can be viewed by, uh, will be reviewed by the district. And if the students qualify for the seal of literacy, then they will receive, as we said earlier, a certificate of achievement at graduation. On the student's transcript, we, um, it will be placed a seal of literacy that will be printed on the transcript. And uh, each high school might um, choose to give cords. Um, so for that, for the cords, you will have to refer to your own high school for this. The district will provide the, um, the achievement certificate and the seal on the transcript. This is what the certificate of achievement looks like. And if students will um, receive more than one seal of literacy in two different languages, then they're going to receive two seal of literacy. This is what the seal of literacy looks like when it's marked on the transcript. And again, 
um, if they have more than one um, language, then more than one language will be written on the seal of literacy. This is the flyer that the communication department is um, creating for us for the seal of literacy. Um, when the new one for this year will come up, then I will send them to each um, school and the students will be able to scan the, the QR code in order to, um, to go directly to the application form. So those flyers will be coming up. They are not yet um, have been created. Those are the ones from last year. So who can apply for the seal of balletracy? All juniors and seniors can apply for the seal of balletracy. And uh, they may have learned a language through the world language classes at the regular pathways or through an immersion or the bridge program, or they can be even in heritage speakers. So any way you have learned your language, you are welcome to apply for the seal of balletracy if you are a junior uh, or a senior. So how and where do students apply? So they will have access to the seal of balletracy canyonsdistrict.org website. And on that website, then they will be able to use a step-by-step -step instruction sheet that I will send to the diploma specialist to help students apply for the seal of balletracy. This is what the Seal of Balletracy Canyons District website looks like. Right now, you can only read the information. You cannot apply because the window for the Seal of Balletracy application is not yet open. So this is what it looks like. And when will it will be open, then you will be able to click on the, on the correct link and just get access to the application. This is a step-by-step -step instruction that is going to go with the application. So students actually can use those step-by-step -step instruction in order to complete the, the form online. The um, diploma specialist can also print them for the students, or you can also guide the students. So the most important part is on the step number seven, this is where we find the most mistake, students forget to sign their name in the student's signature box and they forget to click on submit. If you do not click on submit, we will not receive your application. It is not saved. So how do you demonstrate your requirements? The first requirement that you need to demonstrate is, is the English language proficiency. So in order to demonstrate the English language proficiency, you can use your ACT score. It has to be 18 or above. You can use the AP English language and composition test. It has to be a three or above. You can use a WIDA test score if you have one. The score has to be five or above. Or you can use the Apple test and you need to score an I2 on three of the four components of the Apple test. So this is how to demonstrate the English requirement, and you can choose any of them that, would, um, that applies to you. The second requirement that you needed to show is uh, the world language proficiency. So the first thing that you're going to do is select the language in the language box in the, in the drop-down menu. And according to what language you have, then the qualifying test will show up. So for example, in this page, we have Chinese. So if you are testing in Chinese, the choice of your test will be to use or the AP Chinese test, and you need to have score a three or above. You can use the IB, the International uh, Baccalaureate test in Abenicio, SL, or HL. Or you can use the Apple test also for Chinese. So again, according to the language that you're going to be testing, a different kind of menu for what you can choose for test will show up. So how do students apply for the seal of balletracy? So once students begin the application process, they will have the option to work with a diploma specialist or independently. Um, please ask your um, diploma specialist to um, 
to give you one of the step-by-step -step instruction sheet, it will make the work a lot easier. On the application form, students fill out the general information, then they must choose and they need to enter the test they plan to take for both English proficiency and the language proficiency requirement. You need to click on both of them. You need to choose for both of them what test you're going to take. Um, students, again, please make sure that you sign in the form by entering your name in the student's signature box. Very important. It's at the end of the page. And again, to submit your application, you need to click on submit. Otherwise, we will not receive your application. When will the seal of biliteracy test be administered? If you are taking an Apple tested language, then the window for testing will be the start to the mid-March. And please look for Cindy Perry's email with all the information. If you are tested, if you are testing a language that is not an Apple tested languages, then look for my email and I will give you all the information that you need. If you are um, testing, if a student is testing the American Sign Language, then again, look for Cindy Sperry's email. If you are testing the Apple test, please make sure that if you include the makeup testing time for the students who missed um, is testing time, please make sure that the, the makeup test is within the testing window that you have and not outside the testing window. Um, remember that for the seal of balliteracy, the, uh, the funding is, um, is completely free to the students and the district will pay for one Apple test per year. This is why it is important that if students start testing as a junior year, they can take if they need two Apple tests, they can test, they can do one Apple test as a junior year and one in their senior year. They cannot do two Apple tests um, in one year. So they need to plan in advance. How will the seal of balliteracy test be administered? The diploma specialist in each high school will organize the testing. They will contact students to let them know the date, time, and location of the testing. Again, juniors, please, they should plan testing this year. They need to start testing in order to, to make sure that they have all their requirements. And if they are done by their junior year to have all their requirements, they're good. They won't have anything to do as their senior year, so they will be just good. And they will just wait for graduation to receive their certificate. So it is not... It is not a waste of time. It's even a, a good planning to do this. And um, remember that Cindy Perry will send all the diploma specialists, the students logging information, and any testing information that you need to know. So who takes which test? If you are testing with Apple, you are testing in Arabic, or Chinese, or English, or French, German, Hindi, Italian, Japanese, Korean, Portuguese, Russian, Spanish, or Thai. So all those are the um, languages that are uh, tested with Apple. And if you test with Apple, you're going to take the full test on form B. And you're going to test the full, the com all, the, all the different sections. Um, for Apple, we will take the, um, you need to score an I2. The students need to score an I2 on all the tests, on three of the four tests. So if there's one who is a little bit lower, as long as you have three of them on I2, um, students will pass their um, language test. Uh, but just a reminder, the Apple test that some students may have taken in the past in class is not the required Form B test. This is why, in order to do the seal of Valesuasi, they need to take the they need to retake or take the Apple test, the form B. If your student is taking the um, Apple test, then they can go to this website, the actual Apple website, under assessment and research, they will go to this page and they can click on the demo. 
where they can actually practice the test itself. In order to practice the test, they just go at the, completely at the bottom of the page. Um, they choose first their language, and then they look at the colon B, at the form B, and they can just go ahead and click and start um, practicing for their test. So they can practice. If they are doing Apple tests, they can practice um, their tests on the computer with their language. Um, they can also look up on the actual website what are the topics that are um, commonly asked in those Apple tests. They can also look for some tips on how to take that test. So all that is for the students who are taking the Apple test. If you are taking a non-Apple tested language, then these tests include languages not available through Apple, and it is not an American Sign Language test either. So those tests will be provided through Canyon School District, State, and Federal Program Department. For that test, students will be given a choice of writing prompts, and they will have 45 minutes to write and then present, that will be the speaking part, their essay to a test facilitator of the language. An example of a non-Apple tested languages could be, um, we had Samo Samoan, we had Hurdu in the past, so those are some examples of languages that are not Apple tested and that it is not obviously ASL. For the American Sign Language, once students have been identified, then the test will be ordered by Cindy Perry in the Research and Assessment Department. Those tests are virtual testing and uh, the testing for the American Sign Language might take place at a different time than the other tested languages for the seal of value literacy. The diploma specialist will contact the students with the details. So how can the diploma specialist support um, their students to sign up for the seal? So what I will advise is to organize and to advertise a specific time during the day one on A day and one on B day, um, when students can come and get support to apply for the seal of value literacy. Uh, the diploma specialist can, um, can do that whenever um, it's available. The, you can do that before school, during lunch, or after school. So whatever fits your, um, your student's population, your school, and also your organization. Um, this is the website that the diploma specialist can access now in order to get all the information for your school. So it is sealofballetracy.canyonsdistrict.org slash number slash login. So you just need to log in with your username that you usually use for your email and your password. So, and in this way, by logging into this website, all the diploma specialists will always have, um, will always be able to view and monitor your student's application progress. Again, you just need to log in with the same credential, credential that you do for your emails. You choose the school and the language from the drop down menu, and you should be able to see the status and click on view to see each individual student's application. Just as a reminder, if the status of the application is the one, it means that the students did not really finish the application. Like oftentimes, it will be like they forgot to, um, to choose a test for English or for a world language, or they might even have forgot to assign their name in the box. Um, it becomes a, a two once we have looked at, um, once the district has looked at everything and you, the application becomes a three when it's completed and it's passed. So if, we, if your students have a three, then it's passed and they, um, they're good to receive the seal at the end of the school year. Um, we also encourage a diploma specialist to create a student's testing permission slip in order to make sure that students are excused first from class, the diploma specialist needs to create a permission slip for testing for students. So this could include a student's name, their test that they're going to take, um, where students will be testing, what time. But 
just remember that this is not the same um, um, login information that Cindy Perry is sending you. Those are the permissions leave for the students to get out of, to be excused from class in order to go take the seal of validity test. And at the testing place, if they take the Apple test, then they will be given the login information. So this is an example of a ticket for the seal of literacy. And this one was um, nicely um, offered for us from um, Jordan High School. So thank you, uh, Susie, for the example. And you can create your own. And finally, where do you find more information? You can go, therefore, to the Kenyan School District Seal of Balletracy website, or you can go to USBE Seal of Balletracy, and both of those um, websites are on the screen. And um, thank you. Do we have any questions? All right. Thanks for attending, Emily. I think you were the only one here today, but hopefully <laughs> helpful information and um, I'm going to paste this information in the chat. So if you want to get relicensure credit, make sure to fill out the form and it will be awarded on Midas. And then we do have a link to the Canyons U page and this video and the presentation will be linked. So if there were any links that you wanted to access after the fact, um, they'll be on that Canyons U page as well. So thanks for coming. <laughs>